It's interesting that uh, this industry, I don't think, can start to write anything to the public without beginning it with the word I. Um, it's all about me. It's all about us. It's all about what I've just done, what I'm going to do, how cool I am. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's all wrong. You know, we are self-obsessed. We're too busy looking in the mirror. We're too busy telling people uh, what success we've had. There's not many industries work just like that. Um, I quite often joke about the fact that from the time somebody decides they're going to list and they work with you over a year until they list, they've probably had 23 photos of you sent to them. Yeah, in one shape or another, either it's coming through the letterbox, uh, and and these these photos just keep coming. Um, it's you know there are some people. I mean, I take it a bit further and say there's some people in this industry shouldn't be sending a photo of themselves anywhere. You know, send either no photo or send a photo of someone else. The other one is that nobody looks like their photo. It's the first big lie I get as someone who I'm trying to trust you, and I look at your photo and I say that's not what you look like. You've airbrushed it or it's 20 years old. It's crazy how we do this. So it's a self-obsession that must be flipped over. Uh, it, it's just wrong. I mean, recently um, I did a, a panel in front of 600 people and we actually were brave enough to put two customers, people who had just bought and sold houses, on the panel on stage. And one woman was very direct in her, she, she just absolutely slated the industry. She just went for it. Now, that, that's not an issue. You can find those people uh, every second sale that's made. You can find people who, who will uh, bag the industry. But what absolutely fascinated me was the reaction from the agents sitting in the audience. While it was going on, we had top agents texting the organizers saying, get her off this is wrong. I had a top agent tell me afterwards that I should have had an agent up there to put her in her place. This is bizarre behavior, self-obsessed bizarre behavior that you know we've got to be very very careful of. This industry is in trouble in terms of finding its relevance and we're not listening to anybody and the last person we want to listen to is somebody who tells us that our service is wrong. There are a lot of industries that have become irrelevant without even knowing it and we've got to be really careful how that works for us. The first thing we've got to realize is that when we behave like this, when we behave and we're just begging or bragging because that's basically what we're doing, is knocking on doors, asking people for money. You know, it's, we, 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 it's, it's thinly disguised contempt for these people. It's like knocking on the door and, and literally saying, hi, I just sold a couple of houses down the road, I'm bringing it what I do, have you got any money for me today? Yeah, so this is the stuff that sets up, it's crass. And it sets up the barrier. We worry and wonder why we're one above the truck drivers in terms of trustworthiness, and yet we keep doing this stuff. It's like uh, even something as simple as this industry prides itself on ringing people and saying, happy birthday, you've been in your house for a year. I wish we would all stop doing that. It's, it's just imagine it. I don't hear from you the whole year. And then you ring and say, hi, it's me again. Uh, you've been there a year, any chance I could get my money again? And they say, no, go away. But we've got it in a really brilliant system to ring them the second year. Now we know on average they stay there four years. So by the time we ring them on the fourth year, we say, hello, fourth year, time's up. You gotta move, yeah? Sixth year, seventh year, we're saying, what are you still doing in the house? Yeah, I need my money. It's crass some of the things we do. And we wonder why there's a barrier between us and these people. So the whole thing's gotta be flipped over. How should we do it? Well, I'm currently teaching uh, humility in the face of success, yeah? Uh, to focus uh, totally on the person sitting in front of us, the person that we're working with. We don't listen enough. You know, I, I've run role plays in five different countries and real estate people are ready to answer your question halfway through your sentence. They're, it's almost like, shut up, I've got it, I'll tell you what's best for you now. We have to stop that and we have to reverse it. 
We have to be present and let them speak. And we need to learn to listen more. Not just to what they say, but to how they're feeling. We need to ask feeling questions. We need to dig deeper as to what's going on for them. What is happening in your family? What's happening in your life that's, that's brought this down, brought this around? We need to slow down. Um, we need to pay authentic compliments, is a word that I, two words that I love. Authentic compliments, not just sleazy one-liners, but really dig deep and say, wow, what I'm sensing here is a fabulous, absolutely fabulous family home. Now, he can't say that if he's just taken off with this receptionist. That's not going to work if they're getting divorced. But if you know that's the case, then pay those compliments if it feels right for you. This is how we work with people. Yeah, it, it all needs uh, to change. And you know, the profiles that we're doing at the moment, everybody's keen on video profiles. If you look at video profiles, it's just more of the same. It's all about me. This is me. I've been in the business 15 years. I'm the best. Come call me. Give me money. That's what we're putting out there. It needs to change. Uh, the profiles that I'm writing for my coaching clients just talk about consumers. Just talk about the area that you're working in. Just talk about the people that you're working with. Talk about how grateful you are for your clients. This is what works. Not just getting on, putting a camera in front of yourself and saying, this is me, I play the guitar, you know, meet my children. No one cares about your children. They care about their children. And we need to care about the children as well. And then this whole thing about what they should be doing in terms of not being so self-obsessed also goes all the way back to brand and there is a distinct lack of understanding around branding in this industry but that's another subject